We're so glad you're with us today. The Quaker State 400 is recognized as one of the best battles on the NASCAR circuit. It has returned again this year, and Mark Simmendinger, the general manager of Kentucky Speedway, joins us now to tell us all about it. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, good to be with you, Barb. It's always an exciting race. Tell us what people can expect this year. Well, I think what they're going to expect is is the same kind of action that we've had over the last few years, which mm -hmm. has been um, it's the racing at Kentucky Speedway has been about as good as it's been across the country. Uh, I think we had 11 or 12 green or yellow flags last year, and so there was a lot of action. A lot has been talked about at our racetrack about <clears throat> we have a, a, a track that's configured with a very difficult turn three. Mm -hmm. A lot of drivers like to complain about how hard that is. Um, and the only reason they complain about it is because it is hard. So it's a that's, real challenge. That's a good thing uh, because of the world's best drivers. And so mm -hmm. they'll see that. Another big thing that everybody's going to be focused on is it's the last race in Kentucky for Dale Earnhardt Jr. He's announced his retirement from cup racing. So this is the last chance for fans to get out. And we know there's a there's so many fans of Dale Jr. Oh, absolutely. that I think there's really going to be a big turnout to see him. What about some of the other people who'll be racing? Well, you know, I think the, the list starts with uh, two of our, our biggest champions, Kyle Busch and Brad Keselowski. They always fight head to head. Um, and I would assume that we're going to see more of that. You know, we've run this race six times. Mm -hmm. Between the two of them, they've won five of the six. So they both have the, they clearly by far the best records there. But the other thing they're going to see now is in addition to those two, you've always got the seven time champion Jimmy Johnson. He's always in the mix. But now we've got a whole new group of young drivers coming up. And their names like Chase Elliott, who took over for Jeff Gordon, and then Kyle Larson, and people like that that are really having big years. So we're kind of having this establishment group against the young guns, pushing them, seeing if they can push them all the way out of the way. So it, it's going to be really a lot of fun to see. Makes it very thrilling. What about that week? What else goes on that week? Well, uh, we start out on Thursday night with the uh, buckle up in your truck uh, 225 at mm -hmm. truck series race. Big story there is uh, is Kentucky's own Ben Rhodes is a driver in the Truck Series uh, and doing very well actually. He right now looks like he's going to make the playoffs. He has a good chance to win. Friday night is the Xfinity Series race, um, and that's the Alsco 300. And then, of course, the big race, the Quaker State 400 on Saturday night. All right, that is the big race. We have information up on the screen. Uh, people need to get tickets in advance. They do. Quaker, or KentuckySpeedway.com is the best way to get those. You can also get your camp spots. And a big thing, we're having a big party for Richard Petty, his 80th birthday. Fans can still be a part of that. So go to KentuckySpeedway.com. All right, thank you very much, and good luck with all of it. Thanks, It'll Bob. It'll be exciting, I know. Thank you. And we do thank you for staying with us. We're back with more.